and became most undoubtedly uppity when the cabin crew offered a cup of tea. Was the same every plane. She'd demand brute champagne, then would yell and complain it was warm in disdain, but would sleep when she'd finished it, luckily. She tired of her husband who failed to reach her standards of breeding and forms of speech. His habits muck common, his manners near foreign. She taunted him. Frederick, your lack of ambition defies my cognition. You have my permission to leave. You will never be he whom I seek. Their marriage, unblessed and uncharmed, left poor Freddy irrevocably harmed, pushed him into decisions of divorce and revisions. He'd left her. He thrived, so relieved he survived. He'd escaped her, forewarned and forearmed. Anne's demeanour, undoubtedly snooty. Appearance, not gorgon, nor beauty. Unconcerned being alone once her husband had flown. She's far more self-sustaining, yet still loves her companing and feigning her interest in things than complaining. Rules of etiquette always on duty.